Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, let's take a look at the BFA Vengeance Demon Hunter. Let's take a look at everything that has changed and what build you might want to go with for different types of content in BFA. Now in BFA, the Vengeance Demon Hunter has been changed, so let's take a more in-depth look at what has changed. First of all, Empower Wards has been removed, as has most of the magic mitigation for most of the tanks out there. And I do say most because Prot Warriors got to keep a nerfed version of Spell Reflect, and DKs kept their AMS. Something that Vengeance Demon Hunters got that they did not have before is when they deal fire damage to a target, that target gets Chaos Brand, which means that they are going to be taking 5% more magic damage. So while Vengeance Demon Hunters don't have a raid-wide buff, they do have a raid-wide debuff that helps any magic damage dealers. This Chaos Brand is also shared with Havoc Demon Hunters as well, so regardless of what spec you go, you can provide a boost of DPS for your group. Demon Spikes has had its cooldown changed from 15 seconds to 20 seconds. However, you do have a higher armor multiplier now as baseline through your demonic tattoos. Souls are also now going to be healing for 8% of damage taken in the last 5 seconds with a 1% minimum. Soul Cleave now also consumes maximum 2 fragments. And Fracture now completely replaces Shear if you pick it up as a talent point. It is going to have two stacks with a 4.5 second cooldown. Also, Metamorphosis has been changed from a 5 minute cooldown down to a 4 minute cooldown, which is going to be helping a little bit. There is also a new ability baseline for Demon Hunters, and that ability is going to allow you to consume one beneficial magic effect from your target, remove it, and gain 20 pain. So a small pain generation there on certain fights. Now for the builds, let's look at 5-man farm content. So any kind of low-level keys that you're going to be doing that you know you over gear, this is the type of build you're going to want to go. For your level 99 talent point, you are going to want to pick up Abyssal Strike. It's going to give you movement and damage, and especially if you pick up Flame Crash as well, it's going to give you that increase in damage. That being said, the level 99 talent point for 5-man farm content, you can pick up any of these three talent points. I do suggest Abyssal Strike a little bit more, but all three of them are going to be helping. Level 100, Burning Alive is going to allow your Searing Brand to actually be an AoE debuff, which is going to decrease damage taken, increase DPS as well. However, Fallout is also a favorite of most Vengeance Demon Hunters, since it does increase Fragment Generation, especially if you're doing really big pulls. So either one of these two for farm content is completely viable. For the level 102, I do suggest running Flame Crash since it works really well with Abyssal Strike. It's also going to free up your global cooldown so that you don't have to actually cast your Sigil of Flame. And it's going to increase your threat and DPS. For level 104, I would pick up the new Fracture. It is a huge fragment generation increase. And it's also going to really help out if you do run Spirit Bomb with DPS and healing per second. Level 105 for 5-man farm content, I do suggest Sigil of Chains. This is going to allow you to pull in all of the mobs, including ranged and casters, so that you can cleave them down faster and more efficiently. For level 108, I do really like running Spirit Bomb. It's going to provide you with a big heal by being able to consume up to 5 fragments, big DPS as well, and a debuff with Frailty that is going to be additional slow HPS to smooth out your damage. At level 110, if you are doing that farm content, Void Reaver is going to mix in really well with the passive cleave you're already doing because you're already soul cleaving, and it's going to lower the damage taken by 6%. So not only is this just baked into your rotation, it also helps you get another debuff to help pull a little bit larger as well. Now for 5-man push content and higher level keys, I am going to suggest running Abyssal Strike specifically because it's going to help with AoE threat and reduce cooldown of your main kite ability. Now level 100, Burning Alive is going to turn Fiery Brand into an AoE debuff for those trash pulls that do hurt a little bit more than others, which every dungeon does have. Or you can also run Fallout for the increased frag generation if you are used to that playstyle of high damage taken for high HPS done. Level 102, I do suggest running Flame Crash. It's going to increase your AoE DPS and threat, and it all does it very passively since you're already Infernal Striking. 
Level 104, Fracture is key here. It's going to provide a very consistent generation of soul fragments so that you can consume them via Spirit Bomb and Soul Cleave. Level 106, Sigil of Chains is going to be a big AoE grip. It can also be used as an interrupt for high level keys. It gathers in casters and range mobs. It just does a lot of things really well for those high level keys that you are going to need. For level 108, I do like running Spirit Bomb. This is a big AoE DPS, heal, threat generator, and the frailty debuff is also going to help with passive heals during the dungeon. Now at level 110, last resort is going to be a big automatic cooldown that is only going to be used when the time is needed. So instead of actually going down to any damage taken, last resort will automatically pop give you your biggest defensive cooldown automatically as well, which is going to be very important in pushing those high level keys since burst and spike damage can come out of nowhere. Now for the raid farm content, I do suggest running Abyssal Strike. It's going to increase your movement and increase DPS because we're also going to be running Flame Crash at 102. At level 100, I do like running Fallout since it's a constant fragment generation. And since in most raid fights, you're not too worried about spreading your sigil of flame, Fallout is going to give you that consistency that you need in raids. Also at level 104, Fracture is just really good, giving you that constant fragment generation and pain gained. 106, just in case it's needed, Quicken Sigils is going to be there for adds by popping a little bit faster, a little bit sooner. Unless there's a need to gather all of the adds all at the same time, then Sigil of Chains will be helping you out there. Level 108 Spirit Bomb is going to be a good fragment consumption and healing also helps provide the debuff of frailty to help you with healing over time. Now you can also run Gluttony on raid farm content. It is a little bit more lenient towards RNG, but it does increase your damage done. It gives you your best defensive cooldown on a random proc so it can help you actually store your defensive cooldowns for a later time if it does proc at the right time. But that being said, it is a little bit more leaning towards RNG, so I prefer Spirit Bomb. At level 110, I do like running Void Reaver for any kind of farm content. It just bakes in really well into your automatic rotation that you're already doing, helps reduce damage from all sources, physical and magical. And since it just bakes in really nicely into the spec, I do suggest running it whenever you don't have the fear of getting one shot on progression content. And speaking of progression, let's go over raid progression content. Now for level 99, 100 and 102, for raid progression, you want to be as consistent as possible. So that's going to be Abyssal Strike, Fallout, and Flame Crash for consistent DPS, debuffs, and fragment generation in those first three tiers. At level 104, keeping with that steady fragment generation, Fracture is going to be your go-to talent point, helping you generate a lot more soul fragments, smoothing out your rotation, and allowing you to do really big heals with Spirit Bomb whenever that's needed. At 106, Quicken Sigils is going to be your go-to just in case it's needed for any alts, especially any alts that are out there casting that need to be interrupted with your Sigil of Silence. 108, I do suggest running Spirit Bomb since it can be used for really big heals for recovery after a big hit, AoE DPS for any adds that do spawn during the raid fight, and the debuff is actually going to give you pretty good HPS over the course of a raid fight as well. Level 110, Last Resort is going to be the invaluable talent point that you are going to want to be running. It is a very useful cooldown that can be used to counter any mechanic learning. So anytime you would be getting one shot because you don't know the actual fight yet, Last Resort is going to automatically proc and help you survive that. Since it can counter one shots, it can also help counter any lapse in heals if you do outrange your healers for whatever reason, Last Resort will automatically proc allowing your healers time to recover. Now if the fight doesn't have super big spike damage and actually more consistent damage, then you can also argue the case for Soul Barrier if you do want that for progression. However, I do still suggest Last Resort since it's basically a cheat death for Vengeance Demon Hunters. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this guide for Vengeance Demon Hunters. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below or any additional builds that you guys have. If you like my content, like what I do, and want to help support the channel directly, go ahead and visit my Patreon linked down below. And also, I do stream every Wednesday and Friday here on YouTube and on Twitch, so follow me on your favorite platform. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, good luck tanking out there.